Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jackie, and if you have been following along for any length of time, you know that I have a garden that I've been working on and I like plants. I'm starting a new series called What's Growing, and I will have a video ready for you guys every Sunday on some sort of plant or something that I am learning with all of my plants. Be watching for that every Sunday. Be sure to subscribe so that you get updated for whenever those What's Growing videos come out. Today I am going through a garden tour for you guys. If you have a garden, tell me what you're growing below. I would love to hear. I have two gardens. So I have a, one in the front yard and one in the side yard. The one in the side yard I've had for, this is my third year. And if you watched my gardening fail video, you know that the last two years that I've had the garden right there, they have not done so well and they basically failed. So the first garden that I'm talking about is my front yard garden. The front yard garden was made on Mother's Day. It was like my Mother's Day gift. There's this one spot in the front yard that gets a lot of sun and we decided to make a large boxed in cedar wood garden there. I wanted it to be big and I knew that it was gonna have a lot of sun throughout the day. So in the front garden, I decided to plant sunflowers. I planted some cantaloupe, some of which I have tried to start growing vertically to see how it works and I've left some of them horizontally growing on the ground. I also planted watermelon. The watermelon is not doing too well and I think I planted it too soon. I had originally planted this watermelon plant on the side garden and I moved it to the front garden thinking it would get more sun, but it had just has just not thrived. So I think my problem is that I planted it too soon. I planted it at the end of March and I think I should have planted it at a different time. Next up, I have some really beautiful um, sweet potatoes growing. Um, the vines are just growing like crazy. So I take that as a good sign that they are doing well. Also up there have some tomato plants. Um, both of the tomato plants in the front are not doing well, um, but I have another one on the side garden that is that I will show you guys here in just a moment. I have a few more plants planted out in front of the garden. So I have a, it's actually a tiger lily plant that I just transplanted from my grandma's house. And um, I don't know if it's gonna take off. Like I literally just put it there yesterday and it had a nice like root ball at the bottom. The next plant that I have planted there is a, a lantana plant and it has been blooming on and off. So I think that's gonna grow into a really lovely larger plant. The next one that I have is lavender. Maybe someday I'll make my own essential oil. I don't know if it grows well enough, maybe it'll happen. And then I also have a zinnia plant there that's doing well too. That is my front garden for you guys. It is going pretty well um, and I love the way it looks. Now a little background about why I planted the front yard garden. So on the side garden, I had been noticing that I don't have any bees or butterflies. And if you saw my gardening fail video, you know that that has been a problem and I think that's why my garden has not thrived on the side yard. So as a way to kind of encourage maybe more bees and butterflies to come to the yard, I decided that I wanted to plant a front yard garden. It's just, we had so much grass up in the front yard and we still do, which is wonderful. I wanted to like make use of that part of the yard where there was so much sun. So that is one reason why I decided to do the front yard garden, which I love how it turned out. It is looking so beautiful. So next I have my side yard garden. The side yard garden is the original. I did have one other garden in the backyard for one year, but it completely failed because there's so much shade in the backyard. The side yard garden has a blue agave plant that I'm not sure where I'm gonna put yet. It's in a pot. And then I also have um, some sunflowers and another tiger lily that I'm trying to make live back there. I have an elderberry plant that a neighbor gave to me and um, I also have some zinnias back there. Now in the actual garden bed, I have some cucumbers that are doing really well. And I have, actually the cucumbers are really taking off. And I think it's just the heat of the summer. I just see like little buds of cucumbers coming up all over the place on that plant. Um, the next plant that I have is more sweet potatoes in the back. I forgot to say that the sweet potatoes were given to me by a neighbor and they have done really well. So even if a vine lands on the ground, it will start growing roots down into the soil, which I find super interesting. So I've actually accidentally pulled roots, like baby, wanting to be baby 
sweet potatoes into the ground on accident and I've actually cut them out and I planted them in the front garden. So that was kind of cool, side note. Um, I have some tomatoes um, that are doing well. They That tomato plant is just going crazy. So it's a lot different than the front yard tomato plants that have just really not done anything. So I'm not really sure if I planted them too late or what is going on with them, but the side yard tomato plant is doing fantastic. I also have a small strawberry plant in the back and I have some Mexican mint marigold that was given to me. I also have um, some peppers um, actually in the garden bed and in a little container. The container peppers are doing really well. I also have a plant that is almost completely dead. So my husband took care of the garden for four days um, last week and I think he just missed this lemon balm plant but it is very, very sensitive. So if I go even one day without watering it, it's just like so drooped down. Once it gets watered, it usually perks right back up. So I'm hoping, I watered it today, and I'm hoping that it will perk right back up. So we will see, I'm not sure. It may have bit the dust, but we will see. Um, and then I have another little, I don't even know what it is, some sort of uh, agave plant, but I'm not really sure what it is. I got it from a plant share that my neighborhood has, which is fantastic. So those are my two gardens. I am hoping to get a good yield, but more than that, I'm hoping that I just continue to learn. Through COVID and through the last few months, I have just spent so much time in the yard and I am loving it. I don't think that I will be going any seasons without gardening from now on. I just am really loving gardening. Also, side note, my grandma gave me two plants that she had propagated and they are new and they're right here behind me. So this is an arrowhead plant and this is a golden pothos up there and they are both just doing so well and she is like has a green thumb and it's amazing and I hope that I can keep them alive here in the house. Next week I will have a houseplant tour for you guys. Thank you for watching my garden tour. Be sure to check back next week for my what's growing series on Sunday.